Welcome back to Let's Play Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen. I am fighting our third type of drake. It just kind of showed up here. Um, I was in this area looking for snow harpies and dire wolves and things like that to fight for some uh, some of the items that they brought. And uh, this dragon, whatever it is, uh, we fought. We have fought drakes. We fought worms. So this might be, I guess, a wyvern. Would be. I, I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. Anyway, it just kind of showed up and sort of attacking me while I'm up here near the Stone of the North. So we are going to go to town on this thing. Um, I'm playing as an assassin right now. I was hoping to. Um, I was just kind of screwing around a little bit while looking for some of these materials and things that I can get. I'm playing this this class just to, you know, try to unlock another augment or two. Also, this thing's heart is in its back, or it's accessible in its back. That's odd. Anyway, yes. So uh, here we are, third type of Drake up here by the Stone of the North. I'm third type of dragon, dragonkin, dragonling. I don't know what you want to call these things. The dragon has been defeated. This is not the dragon, this is a dragon. A lightning dragon. Uh, it really likes flying up there, doesn't it? I'm gonna shoot it in the face because I think we can maybe break some of its horns off. Uh, I believe you have to do a significant amount of damage to its face or hit it just maybe with like a really tough attack or something. Uh, to break its horns off. I think you get something if you break its wings off. Um, if you do enough damage to its heart to quote unquote break its heart, I think that also might qualify. Maybe its hands? Maybe you can break like its claws off or something? I don't know. Um, spells are generally going to be much more useful for that sort of thing. Oh, dang it. Hit it really hard in the face. Okay. Um. Okay, yeah, so one of my pawns. Oh, come on, camera. Crap. Okay, Lord. Alright, so. Um, so it looks like climbing on it. Come on, let me save Kaya there. Good grief, this thing is irritating. As I was trying to say, it looks like climbing on it to attack its heart is going to be kind of a, a good strategy if I can manage to pull that off. Hopefully with my pawns alive, so I don't have to worry about them so much. Um, like the other dragons, it looks like when its mouth is glowing and it's charging up its breath attack, that is a perfect time to strike. And uh, it'll interrupt the breath attack. Nice, nice, nice. We broke its other horn, and it really didn't like that. Yeah, so we can pick up the dragon horns. So where's my other slave? No, don't pick her up. I'm right here, you idiot. Tis a troubling foe. So I'm not entirely sure where it's flying off to, where it has flown off to, or where it is. Above me? It's above me. There it is. It's back. Let's see if we can climb on its back. Yeah, here we go. Strip its wings and it cannot fly. So that sounds like it'd be a, a good strategy, although it's kind of spazzing out with me on its back right now. Kind of hang out on its back here and beat on its heart a whole bunch while I can. 
And we're doing a significant amount of damage to it. We've taken down three of its health bars now. Give or take. My pawns are kind of helping it fight as well, a little bit. Afraid it was gonna do that. Aim for the wings. I cannot take much more. There's no use against it. Take the mouth. There we go. Oh, I thought we were gonna knock it down. Oh, its wings are gonna be really tough to actually hit with my bow and arrow uh, because I have such crappy aim. I feel like my pawn, Slave, is using lightning attacks, and I don't think they're going to be effective against a dragon that breeds lightning. So, you know, we got that whole thing going for us now. Alright, let's beat on its wings a little bit, see if we can actually damage those things up. And they, they look damaged, they look kind of bloody or bruised or something, but I don't know if that's... I mean, it's still flying, so I don't know if those, that means that... I don't, don't even know what I was trying to say there. Oh, it dropped something. Oh. It, I, Maybe we did actually destroy the wings? Yeah, it can't fly now, so it dropped an item. I cannot take much more. Um, I need to get over to my pawns. You? Nice, that's the first time we've uh, wrecked a dragon's wings. I'm pretty sure you can destroy the wings of all of the dragons. Uh, although now we have... He's grounded, but we do have his... Uh, other problems with it. Oh boy. <laughs> it's a bit more threatening now that it's hanging out down here on the ground with us. like that it can cast spells just like the ice one Jeez. and so yeah as you can see I'm very heavily encumbered my whole party is pretty heavily encumbered because of all the items that we've been harvesting and hunting for that was the original purpose of this trip well this stupid dragon showed up here Can't hit it from out there. Uh, and it, its heart being up on its back is odd. Um, but it can't fly now, so I should have a better time just kind of hanging out on its back and beating on it. It's almost dead here. It's very, very close. There we go. My bow and some of my armor. Um, I've been trading bits and pieces of armor with Lucy so that uh, as I kill dragons, uh, if I can encounter them, I can potentially dragon forge some of her equipment. So she would have better stuff. Okay. Enough of that. I think that's overkill enough. So we have the wyverns here now. If you're tired, rest. It will not stop until you are fully Virid dragon scale, so I would guess like Viridian is kind of what they're going for there. That, that type of green. Great dragon Alula. Alula? Alula? Sure, we'll go with Alula. Anyway, take it from the wing of a dragon. Useful in crafting, blah, blah, blah. Yep. Wyvern hide. 
Uh, so that was the Wyvern. Wyvern's tier. I believe... If I remember correctly, wake stones are an important thing. We have a quest in the Everfall to get 20 wake stones. Um, I believe the different tiers for the dragons uh, cause wake stones to drop more frequently. Um, I don't know. I was here to hunt snow harpies and uh, what's it called? The dire wolves. And you guys have seen me hunt and kill and be chased by and run away from many, 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 many of those things. So I don't know that I want to subject you guys to that, uh, but I am recording now. Let's carry on with what I said I was going to do last time and go check out uh, Blue Moon Tower. We'll go check it out and see if there's anything fun and exciting and dragony that we can kill up here. I suspect there is going to be some new monster at the top of the tower here. I think it's going to be a dragon. I thought it was going to be a green dragon, the uh, the lightning one that we just fought. So we may get two of those back to back. Who knows? Um, I do also at some point need to go into Soul Flare Canyon. We there's a cockatrice there that we need to go kill. So that is on my to do list as well. That'll be for a um, a quest, a notice board quest that we picked up. Not just me wanting to randomly go there and kill cockatrice. Although, you know, they're no nasty creatures, but uh, kind of fun to fight. Large coin pouch. Um, I, as an assassin, I don't have any additional mobility. I can't double jump. I can just single jump. Um, I can't, like, hover with staves like mages and whatnot. So I'm not even going to attempt... There's snow harpies here. I forgot about that. I'm not going to attempt going for some of the chests that I usually go after when I'm here. Oh, knock that one off the cliff. Inventive. Uh, it looks like these enemies are not any tougher than they were last time. Just the normal skeleton mages and uh, skeleton warriors and whatnot. So snow harpies instead of succubi, so this is going to be pretty easy to work our way up to the top of the tower, I think. Oh, and I'm very heavily encumbered, so I'm going to have to deal with my inventory a little bit. Numbers arisen. That's fine, though. Not going to stop me from picking up more items here along the way. Blast arrows. Those are super, super heavy, so I am going to come back and deal with some dragon horns. Also quite heavy. Now, I've also been combining items. I've been picking lots of herbs and things so that I can combine them and get maybe some better curatives and things like that. Not that big of a deal. Just a lot of this. You guys are getting a condensed version of what I've been up to for the last few minutes. Um. And switch back to the dragon leather vest now. Oh, don't give. Quit. Oh. Oh, I forgot how stupid it is to equip crap in here. Equip. Thank you. I'm um, going to trade helmets with Lucy. Because her dragon band needs to be upgraded as well. Uh, this is just a thing that I like to do. I like to give my pawn dragon forged equipment as much as possible. Um, I know I'm not planning on keeping her this way forever. But, you know, having like a dragon forged... Uh, bow or dragon forge daggers and things like that will certainly help. Um, help with her survivability because that's been a bit of an issue in the game so far since she's been leveling up as a mage almost the entire time. Uh, that sort of thing. 
And I mean, it's no trouble. Like, I'm running around killing these dragons anyway. I might as well have stuff equipped that can potentially be dragon forged. Because uh, dragon forged is... I don't know. I, I don't remember what I said or what I was talking about before. I don't think it's certain. I think it's just random. And the... I think your your equipment has to be upgraded at, this, at some level. Like, it, it has to be at least one-star upgrade. Uh, but beyond that, more stars, I think, increases the odds. But I have had a couple pieces of, like, two-star equipment get Dragon Forge and stuff like that. Okay, so we're gonna run up here. Oh, I definitely just heard a dragon roar. Okie dokie. Yep, there's something. What are you? Green one again. Okay, that's what I thought. Hooray, everybody. We get to fight another green one. Oh, that harpy decided to grab me. All right, these snow harpies are potentially going to be a bit of a problem during this fight. So I do need to try to deal with them if I can. Um, again... We just fought one of these things. I am probably going to try to wreck its wings if I can when we get it to land so I can beat on its wings a little bit. Um, while I'm here, may as well loot the place, right? There's tons and tons and tons of money and treasure and stuff up here. And by tons, I mean a handful of things. That's not bad. Uh, the Assassin's Mask, I think maybe these two fancy treasure chests are always the same thing. I seem to recall, like, I know that I have a lot of Assassin's Masks. I've opened this chest, like, two or three times. Armor, that can go slave. Lucy. That as well, okay. I'm just going to stay at the heavy weight class, I guess. Harpies are more of an immediate threat than the dragon, because the dragon's just kind of hanging out there, not really doing much. There we go, knocked it from the ground once. Grab it, grab it, grab it, yeah! He doesn't seem very happy about me hanging off of him like this. That's fine, though. Um, stamina's gonna run out. There we go. I uh, did a heavy attack, which knocked me off of him. Let me jump off of him and then also land that hit. So that's what just happened there. Let's eat a whole bunch of mushrooms here. Um, I have like a dozen grapes or something too. Yeah, I'm gonna eat a lot of this crap as well. Just keep my health up. Nope, didn't grab it in time. I'd also like to, you know, like break his 
horns off of his head, too. Dragon horns are also quite valuable and useful for upgrading. Boy, do I wish my pawns would actually do something in this fight. That would be phenomenal. My stamina is running again. What's, what's that? So let's use two of those, I guess. And then back up here to mushrooms. Which I am running low on again. Oh, well, that's not that big of a deal. keep using all my big attacks whenever it lands, and that's draining all my stamina, so I don't have much of my fight on him. Uh, that's okay, though. I would love to be able to, like, climb up higher on its back, because... Hitting it in its heart would be a really good way of knocking it down on the ground. Um, I also don't know if we can break its tail. Like I, that is a thing I have not yet tried on the dragons. We'll get nowhere while it's aloft. Think well before striking. Nope. Is it gonna like dive bomb us now? Yes, it is. Yep, or not really. It's a fake dive bomb. All right, let's throw an exploding barrel at it next time it comes oh, down. God, my damn! Always oh, doing a breath attack. Uh, come on! Come on down, buddy. God, my damn! <laughs> Hit it in the wing, I think. Okay. So that was all. I just needed to hit him to kind of knock him out of his little attack pattern thing that he was doing there. Attack when it reads. I'm glad at least Lucy has learned that lightning is not effective against this thing, because Slave keeps seeming to, like, really like using her lightning attack. Which, where is Slave? What are you doing? Can you, like, cast a spell or something? That would be fantastic. I need to get some new palms. It's time, I've gained enough levels, and also not terribly happy with the spell selection I have on Slave. And I'm not quite ready yet to uh, turn Lucy back into a mage. She needs more stamina and some more physical, like, defense in particular. See, you idiot pawn. Why are you casting lightning when we're fighting a lightning dragon? All right, so we broke its wings. And we broke one of its horns. Oh boy, it grabbed me. Oh boy. Okay, that slam actually did not do much damage at all. Pawns pick up the items that fell off this thing. Okay, it looks like I'm not doing any extra damage to its uh, 
to its tail was me trying to finish that sentence. There we go, broke the other horn. Come on, no, 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 don't flap your wings. Let me get in there and save my horn. Get those items like the first horn that dropped off and whatnot? I didn't see. I don't think I grabbed them. Oh. I can climb up on its back now. Yes. Ah, there we go, our mage finally got an attack off. Good grief. Yeah, so these dragons have a lot of health, as you can see, but they're, I mean, they're not super, super difficult to fight or anything. Not by any means. They're dangerous, certainly, but if you know which attacks to avoid, you know to keep your pawns alive whenever he roars. Um, you know, like, that the heart's the weakness. And the heart's usually covered up. Like, it, it usually, you have to do an attack or two to where its heart is at to uncover the heart. Um, and then you know not to use the their elements. Like, it's really all there is to it. We broke its... It, uh, it's horns off of its face. Broke its wings. So we got another Wyvern's tier. That was unexpected. I didn't know we could get multiples of those. How many of those did I get? Three. I got two Wyvern's tiers from fighting that thing. That's kind of funny. At least you can hang on to those. I don't know if the effects stack. Like, I don't know if I'll have, like, um, huge, huge, huge chance of getting Wake Stones. Uh, it, it impacts the Everfall. Like, when you go to the Everfall, you'll have a higher chance of getting Wake Stones there. That's all there appears to be here. There's gonna be, like, some skulls and some other junk here. Yeah. Okie dokie, uh, so that was fun. We got to fight two big old dragons there. Um, yeah, I, uh, let's see. We need to go kill the cockatrice in... Uh, you guys saw me fight, fight a cockatrice in the last video, so I don't know that I need to do that on camera um, in, in Soulfire Canyon. Um, I need to kill a bunch of dire wolves. I don't know. I guess Everfall is probably going to be the next video that I show. I don't think there are any other types of dragons. I think it's just those three. So, yeah. Um, I guess Everfall comes next. I haven't shown that area off at all. And it's, uh, it's, huh, it's quite a place. And we have to get 20 wake stones. 20 actual, full, complete wake stones for the story quest stuff that we're on. Okay, good. I did knock it off. Strength in numbers are there we go. Um, yeah, so thank you for joining me, everybody. And I will see you in the next video.